This is the flight of my VTOL wing this morning. Bit of a spoiler alert, it ends in a crash. But I wanted to put together a build video and uh, just show you where I'm up to with this project. So the wing is in q mode at the moment and I've been shooting it over the past few days and it was really quite nice and stable. I'm just playing with the roll controls there. My plan here was just to flick it into fly-by-wire mode and flip back to Q-Hall for things to go well. But when I was in fly-by-wire mode, I discovered that I had absolutely no elevator control. Uh, ended up trying to actually flip back to manual mode and then it went into the ground. Quite a bit of damage. Uh, I think most of the components are actually okay. Uh, and there's an image of it a little bit earlier in the day when everything was still firmly attached. One of the issues that I did have in this project was tuning the yaw control. Uh, on Arju Copter and Arju Plane or Quad Plane mode, I've always found the yaw uh, appear tuning to be quite easy, but with this plane I had to really dial up the D uh, control to get it to stop the yaw wobbling. Uh, you can see there that it's just wobbling from left to right, and uh, that stopped finally uh, when I um, increased the D. Quite a, quite a large amount. Uh, this is just the flight from this morning again, viewed from a different angle, just to show you that that uh, your wobble had been tuned out. You can see it's quite stable. Next up, we have a series of build images. Here I've just dry fitted uh, the forward facing motor mounts. These were based on design for the mini tunnel. In that image, in this image, you can see that I've inserted a carbon uh, spar. And then on top of that carbon spar, there's a nice channel for uh, cables. This is the fitting, dry fitting of the various parts and the fitting of the motors to the uh, robot servos. Forward facing motors there and the pod in the middle. You can also see that the entire airframe has been laminated. Image of the forward servo there. And starting to dry fit the components. The ESCs and power distro board came from an old mini quad, the Emacs Lightning 30 amp ESCs, and this is just images of the dry fitting of the various components, the distro board, the USB sensor, and the current sensor were pushed up into the nose there. You can also see the layout of the other components, the Pixhook. I did use a different uh, receiver for the actual flight, an XM Plus. So the next steps for this project are obviously to reattach all the parts that came off and sort out anything that uh, was bent in the crash. The landing gear uh, were quite badly bent. One of the servos uh, motor mounts was quite badly bent. And I might try to re-bend that or replace it, depending on uh, how difficult it is to, to bend it back into shape. Apart from that, there's lots of mud to clean off. But the next major thing to do is to replace the elevons. A flying buddy, Zaxter Blue, suggested that perhaps the elevons weren't stiff enough. And that's why I didn't have elevator control. I think that it's probably a combination of two things. One, the elevons not being stiff enough, and two, there not really being enough throw on the elevons. So I'm going to replace them with some balsa ones. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.